I hear you've been having a bit of trouble lately. Yes. Them daft boys, I suppose. Uh-huh. Yeah, not a lot you can do about them, eh? No, what? Never know, though. I might be able to get rid of them for you. I thought you might. for you, but I need the money for business. Your business, not mine. Oh, Isa, for Jesus' sake. Listen, it's not for booze. I'm in debt to a money lender. Isa, it's Boyle. Jimmy Boyle. I'll not expect you back then. Come on, son. Come in and face him, Malky. Yeah, well, on you go. I'm gonna have a quick think first. Ah, oh, come on, Ben. Malky. Not bad, Jimmy. Not bad. For a scotch? No, I'm OK. Jimmy, I can't make it this week. See, the thing was that... It was the wife, you know, she... She, uh, she had the kid with her, and... Uh, she... She caught us outside the yard door. And she... There's a couple of diddies through here hoping us for money. You ought to keep this place clean. It's like a shit house. Look, what the hell's up with you then? What do you mean, what's up with me? Look at the place. Robbie. Your next payment will be double, Malky. That's next week. Okay? Okay, Jimmy. You know the rules. Yeah. Look, either drink up or get out. Any more from you, pal, and your fucking bars are gone up. Hey, take it easy. What's your game, Boyle? 
Look, Piper, you and the mob know the score. You can't come and demand in here. You did at our place. What's the difference with this joint? I'll tell you what's the difference, prick. We're here, so move yourselves. All right, all right. Keep it down, will you? Look, come on outside and talk about it, Piper. Come on. You were beginning to get a wee bit embarrassing there, Piper. I can see that. You never even let me finish my drink. Come on. What are you up to? What do you mean, what am I up to? Can a man not have a beer in peace? Not in the bar I do my business in. What? You've had the message. That's the way it is. You guys are bad news here. You're moving. What? Get a drink. Put it back. We'll see. You'll see fuck all without your eyes. Stay away. Otherwise, we go ahead right now. Get ready. Come on, come on, come on. Come here. Okay, okay, for fuck's sake. I get the message. No harm in trying, eh? Come on. You'll be back for an equaliser. If we don't weigh in heavy, every bad boy in Glasgow's going to be in here thinking he can take us over. Oh, come on, Jean. All right, Jimmy, sir. Look up to your bed. Hey, when he grows up, Mrs. Doherty, he may hit you back. Listen, son, the day that wee shit hits me back, I'll collect the insurance on him. <laughs> Make it sooner, while I'm still single. Hi, Ma. I'm off now. Fine. See you later. Right you are. Stay away from trouble now, son. Hello, eh? OK, hang on. Hi, kids. What for? You're always asking for money, so yeah. Here. You were off school again today, I saw you. Right, here you are. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. See you later. OK, then. Let's go get a result off this mob. Hang on. Nobody's seen Piper. Maybe he's hunting for us. Back to base. Eh? Piper's not been seen. Try the Empire Bar. Right. Shuggy, got the tools? Yeah. Come on. I'll get in the car. We'll be at the bend more. Hey, leave me some. I've got a drink problem. I've only got one mouth. <laughs> Don't take it all.
Feel there. Piper's mob. Where are you going? Sorry. Get this noise. Hey! Jimmy! Innocent people. Honest to God, you... Don't think I've come across anything as rotten as you... So the judge says to him, what have you got to say for yourself this time? Old Harry says, as God's my judge, I'm innocent. The judge says, he's not, I am, you're not. Six months. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy, son. It's nice to see you back home Hello, again. Hello, Mrs. Joyce. You're looking very well. And tell your mother I was asking for her, eh? Aye, I will. Hey, look at that. Oh, I know that one. Come on. He's going to call us. Oh, yeah. What are you doing walking the street? I'm out on bail. Oh, you're out on bail, are you? Yes. We'll see. Come on. Listen, Archie. When they find out I've jumped bail, they're going to be back looking. You better keep this from me. Oh, Jesus. And this. Oh, now, wait a minute, Jimmy. Hold it. Piper and his mob are prowling for you. They're going to do you in. Seriously. They're going to kill you. I know. I'll need to chance it. Twenty. Forty-five. Sixty. OK. Does it feel good? I've got to watch him. The boy's a con man. Oh, he's no slouch. Do you want another? Nah, let's go off. Cheers, Jerry. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, is he dead yet? Nice treasure bottoms. They tried to chop his hands and legs off. It was stolen fame. Did he say anything? He said he fell. Pastor didn't fall hard enough. He's still breathing. Sergeant. How long are you in? He can't be moved for weeks. So what do we do? Throw you at Piper's mob and let you attack them with your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't make a comeback now, but I confront him. Make Piper and his mob look stupid. And when the police find you've gone, I'll be on my way to London. Just make sure the guys that are spreading this rumour are in the bar tonight. <laughs> You amaze me, Boyle. The guy set you with hatchets. You get up and walk. I'll bump into you and you scream. What's wrong with you? Come on. Pint of heavy. <laughs> rain. Bet you it's no raining in London. I bet you it's no raining in fucking greener. up in London. I'll bet you gets two years. I'll do that standing on his head. Jimmy, you can kiss that joint farewell. Radio Two months in solitary. You forget how to speak. Sure. Your old pal knows the score. Whoa. Hey, come on, Rob. <laughs> I've got the money lender under control. The club's set up, but there's a guy that's given us a lot of trouble. We need sorting out. Later. 
My mother? Her and Mrs. Clark are down watching the old house. The house next to where the milkman is. Yeah, that's it. Hey, do you want us to come with you? Ah, oh, shut up. your mob stay away from my business. Don't let them forget what I said. Or from tomorrow you'll only be needing one pint. Oh my God! They need some more milk. Was that the right guy, Jackie? Yeah, that was him. Good. Here. Are you going to this party tonight in that green suit? What's wrong with it? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Sir? You're coming with us. What's this for? Hey, tell him to go easy with my goods, huh? What well, we enjoyed the party last night. It's gonna be your last. What's the charge? Fire the party went bad. There was a boy killed. Charge is murder for you and your three mates, you bastard. Anything you say? I'm saying nothing till I see, see my, my lawyer. lawyer. You don't need to say nothing, son. There's plenty of witnesses, all willing to testify. money at the dogs. I thought, well, Jimmy always said to me, he said, look, Uncle Jody, if you were ever in my district, even if I'm away, you know, he said, you go up and tell my people who you are and they'll take care of you. Half bottle of wine, do you? Well, that'll do for a start. <laughs> What is it, Agnes? Meet your Uncle Judy. 
Watch it, watch it. My wife's still paying for this. You cheeky little bastard. Look, I was gasping for a drink. You know the score. Do you know who I am? Not my nephew, eh? Do you know what I do to guys who try and hustle me? Cut off their heads? No, I'm good at it. I leave their heads hanging by a thread. Well, in that case, Jimmy, if you don't mind, I think I'd rather go tea total. Get out of here before I decide to adopt you. Hey, shitface! I was three years in a Japanese prisoner of war camp. You think I'm frightened of an asshole like you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fifty-five. Thanks, <laughs> Tell you, man, some of these Glasgow boyos, you can't frighten them with death. Well, if that doesn't work, try their wives. That'll frighten them. Right, I've got some business to do. Do you want me to come with you? You're busy. Bobby, let's go. Keep an eye on Agnes, yeah? in your business, Jimmy, and I don't believe he better that. Be, or he's in for some real trouble. No, but look, he's only up to see, that's look, all. you just tell him for me to stay away from my business, right? Tell him, your fucking self! Right. Oh! Jimmy, I don't want to be left alone with him. What I'll will I do? I'll look after him. It's OK for you to look, say that. don't worry, Sheila. It'll be all right, I promise you. You can call him an ambulance if you like. There's the taxi. OK. You know the score. Who is it? I don't know, but he's very dead. In respect to the first accused, Robert Dugan, on charge number one, what is your verdict? Not guilty. In respect of the accused, James Boyle, what is your verdict? Guilty. James Boyle, you have been found guilty of a callous murder. I sentence you to imprisonment for life. You're a menace to society. And I recommend to the Secretary of State that the minimum period that should elapse before your release can be ordered should be 15 years. You've got him this time, sir. Well done, sir. Hey, 
Dance. Need this respect, sir. But look at the damage he's done to other people. I mean, look at him. He's got heart in him like a dirt up putty. Get out. You and I go back a long time, Jimmy. Remember? I've known you from your first approved school. But this is different. You're not about to start your time. Your time's over. You've been, son. And from this minute on, you've nothing to live on but memories. I hope they were worth it. Because you won't be making any new ones for a year ago. There's no coffin built I won't climb out of. You suffer, you bastard. I'm entitled to apply to the prison authorities for the right to appeal against my conviction. Boyle, I'm not denying you permission. I'm merely informing you that... Merely? It's my life we're talking about. You should have thought about your life earlier. You don't have one anymore. I've spent enough time in you, Boyle. You'll get my answer later. Oh. All right, Boyle. Oh. It's mad. The man's mad. Let's get you back to your cell. So you can do my brains in? There'll be no brutality. That better not be. Remember, I'm in here for life, and if I can punch a governor, I can kill a screw. Your faces are noted. Oh. Take it easy, Boyle. We just want your clothes for checking. Look. If we wanted to do you in, we could take you with your clothes on. You really think you can assault a governor?
you fucked. Got to get home and look after the kids. Let Margaret get out to her mother's. What about young Davy's ear? Bob's a madman. That one doesn't know when to give up. Because he doesn't know how to. Yeah. Well, we'll teach him. Somebody's guaranteed their breakfast in the morning. Yeah. It's quite clear to me you are guilty. Bad charged. Bastard. Bastard. And I'm Bastard. going to make it clear Bastard. to you that Bastard. I will not Bastard. tolerate such conduct Bastard. from this prison. Bastard! 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 Get him Bastard. out of here. See you on the ground.
Come on. You filthy, dirty. My blood turns you on, but my shit makes you cringe. You're going to have to go home reeking of my shit. I need this so. Listen, no prisoner's supposed to be here longer than six months. He's been here eight. Yes. I know. Look, my men are really not willing to take much more. Right? Right. Thank you. He moves Monday. Gave you a hard time, eh? How long were you in the hole? Eight months. Fuck's sake, Jim. Right, move! You and yourself must have been getting fed up with each other. Don't you think it's time you parted company? Yeah. Got something out of it, though. Started reading. Books? Yeah. Oh, they do my brain in. I don't know how to make them go at all. What were you reading? Great book. Crime and Punishment. Dostoyevsky. Oh, yeah, him. He was in prison with me for stealing his granny's money. I'm not in your gang anymore, Jimmy. You've turned into a sissy. Fix the front and no talking! Hey, what's the score in here? You can feel the tension. Well, there was a bit of a riot last week and three guards got stabbed. Good thing. Shut your trap and move! It's nothing to do with these guys, it's me, okay? Ask him. Now, most of you guys have got release dates. Don't lose them because of me. So just take it easy, okay? Yeah, okay. But we've taken enough shit from you. If Boyle's going to get brutalized, we'll go ahead with you right now. There'll be a charge of assault, but there'll be no brutality, I promise you. Take him down to solitary. 
Rusty, back yourselves. Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, Jimmy. You've only been in this place a few hours and you've started already. Well, let me tell you, hard man, you're in a real prison now. Heard it. We we'll better see you later on, Bob. Just to see you settled in. So you listen for us coming, right? Well, I think both his arms are broken. And how did he get all these wounds in his scalp? He fell. Ma? Ma? I'm lost, ma. Oh, God. God, not an asylum. Where am I? You're back home. The other place couldn't take you either. I'll say one thing for you, Boyle. You don't die easy. You've been unconscious for two days. I'm not dying. Easy or otherwise. I didn't mean it as a compliment.
Morning, Boyle. Well enough to get a visit from the police? You're getting charged with assaulting two prison officers. <laughs> I, I mean, fuck's sake. Will they tell me when it's time to start the other four years? Because <laughs> how will I know? <laughs> Christ. Time. If you're living it. They think I'm mad because I battle with them and I won't lie down. Silly bastards! Keeps me alive and sane! I'm shouting at myself again. Jackie was right. I'm keeping bad company. with a meaning. It's no a name. It's no a person. But I'm no a person. Easier being dead. Oh, fuck that. They'd love it. They'd think they'd beat me. Tune up. From now on, the battle gets fiercer. And I have an extra four years fighting ahead. Jackson! You're a bastard! You can hear and smell you before you get to the door. You're the only one of us that smokes roll ups. Right, Boyle. You're leaving. Your 19 months of solitary are up. Fairly flu, eh? <laughs> ah, my sister told me she's got to find a new school for the two kids. Ah, she stays here then? Ah, the family been here for five years. You never thought I might have a sister and family, did you, Boyle? 
We might be bastards to you, but we've got people and friends that don't think so. Who have you got, son? I've got a sister. I've got three sisters. You're the bastard. Move. Anything but that. Not my mother. Not my ma. Everything's all right here, John. Lazarus is poor no longer. May you have eternal rest. Since Almighty God has called our sister of this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead. We know he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his glory. Commend our sister to the Lord. Lord, receive her into his peace. Raise up her body on the last day. Thank you. Can you still, please? What's going on? Lord, what are you guys up to? Us, oh, for Christ's sake, John, we're bloody freezing here. We'll be out in a minute or two. Your will. So in your mercy, forgive whatever wrong she may have done. By her Christian faith, she was united with all your believing people. Now in love and mercy, give her a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Come on! 
Jackie, can you hear me? Jackie! How's it going?
I think if we keep going, we could reach China. Well, whoever built that big wall of that didn't build this one. Got a light. <laughs> I'm freezing. I was sorry to hear about your mother, Jimmy. Is that all there is? I've got some more. Hey, you know they're going to move me away from here? Huh? Yeah, they're putting me into a special unit that's open. <laughs> it's for guys they can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again, Jackie. Oh, well, I'm just going to say, Your Honor, I'll do anything for a game of bridge. <laughs> You've sensed me twice today already. That was three days ago. Now drop the trousers. How can I have anything? I've not seen daylight for weeks. No, no, no. We don't want to take any chances. 
Now bend over and pull them apart. life without knowing it. Now I know how to live it. It's not there to live. <laughs> I'm not really a people hater. The lonely prisoner was in his cell. Thanks, I don't know whether we've turned into what you are, or you've turned us into the kind of people you imagine that we are. But it's way past the blaming stage now. You've pushed us to the limits. Come ahead. here five weeks ago. He's been charged with the attempted murder of six of my officers. One lost an eye. The others were stabbed. Now he's either going to kill one of my men or he's going to try to get us to kill him. Aye. Pity it's not that simple. Well, my men had to restrain him. A doctor had to attend him as a result of it. The doctor said he wouldn't live through the night. He's still here. So?
<laughs> I can't think about that one. Yeah. Hello, Joanne. Mike Miller, I'm in charge here. You want some tea? No. Come on, I'll show you where you are then. Smash it. Oh, shot. Oh, you missed it with Up there, second one along. Get settled, then I'll see you later. Everything okay, Jim? Pretend that you 